up YouTube? This is your boy Ali the Rock, aka Wolf Rock, coming to you guys with Yes, you know what I'm coming with. It is right right there. Little reaction time of Nightwish Pan. So I'm very excited to listen to this one as well. Um It's been really a fun to be able to pace myself on the album itself because as i know there's no concerts that i'll be going to anytime soon and there's none that'll be available for us to view so this is as close as i'm going to get to nightwish right now <laughs> so here we go without further ado this is going to be pan pan and not frying pan not that kind of pan uh <laughs> it's not a pandemic it's just a pan uh, I try to see if I can find anything about the word pan to see if there's a meaning behind uh, what they kind of got into it. And I found a few things, so it's very interesting. So before we get started, I want to do something a little different. I want to get through the lyrics real quick, uh, give my thoughts about the lyrics. So this is pan. Um, let's just go through this really quick. It is almost like a poem, the way it's structured in the actual, when I pulled it up. So it's very interesting. So let's get right into it. Um, it starts out, once there was a silent canvas. So right off the bat, that tells you, if you look back at all the other albums, or the other the other, the other songs uh, from this album, you see a progression uh, from what I've seen from, uh, you get into from noise. and But if you keep progressing and from where we went at Shoemaker, now we're getting into this, we still got this blank canvas now, I really think that, and I'm not, I'm, this is just an assumption here, okay? When Tomas put this together, I really feel like when he was trying to be creative and uh, almost like Wishmaster, uh, the imagination process, I think, is part of the thought process in Tomas's mind. And I really believe that that's what I see um, how he creates a lot of these songs. He applies his imagination with uh, today's culture, which is a little mixture of both. So um, I thought somebody was coming in. Uh, so you have a combination of both. So you have the uh, the mindset of a, of a, of what's going on in today's world, but then you have the out there the imagination that is just out there you know what i mean i mean that you could god it's endless kind of where i got this on the very first line once there was a silent canvas so a canvas is always silent because there's nothing on it it's blank so again this is the imagination being unfolded this is what I, how i see it sleeping stories unimagined right off the bat second line again these are all things that things that have not happened yet. Birth of what ifs, hope and wonder. So these are things that could come about but haven't in this silent canvas. Winds will be named. Words will be sh uh, sheltered. Then, so then there was once. Now there's then. Something wicked their way came. So current situation in the world using imagination to apply to what he's saying now. Something wicked their way came, showed a way to the great escape, invoked the world, sparked the brain, and ape in awe before a door. Tomas and his wonderful imagination on how um, a spark in our mind can uh, bring about such beauty and hate and destruction all in the same thought process kind of where i'm getting with this uh with this pan how the he's trying to convey a message from what humanity is and how we can create such beauty but yet at the same time such destruction interesting um to labyrinth now see that I can think of a lot of things when I think of Labyrinth, but we'll, we'll, let's keep going. To Labyrinth, to Keystone Earth, to Fallen Stars, to there and back, were the, were the writers of another way to be, were the writers of whatever we cry home. Of whatever we cry home. 
again, this is the poem set up. This is how I see it. I see it as a poem. A moment alone would unbe un unbeknownst reset the world, imagine home, a premium need to touch the stars, only way there to enter. So again, there's the imagination of, you know, reaching the stars or reaching above us, kind of uh, getting out of ourselves, so to speak, getting out of our mindset. This is kind of what I see, what I see in this beautiful, beautiful lyric. Um, here's the next word. Imagine. Music, dance, illusion, tales of dust, of man in the moon, the sea lady, snow, glass, apples. Uh, it is stories that build cathedrals. Then something wicked their way came, showed a way to great escape, invoked the world, sparked the brain, and ape in awe before a door. Do you guys see where I'm going? Where this is going? This is kind of really telling a tale that, of what we could do if we just imagine. The things, the beauty, and the, the destruction that are intermingled in our minds. I don't know. This is just what I'm getting out of it. But, you know, hey, this is just my thoughts. Okay. I have serious allergies, so I apologize. Um, a moment alone uh, with un... So then it repeats itself. The chorus repeats itself. Um, and it says, to lose yourself, to find who you are... Follow your tale, remember your name, enter the woods, and bring back the good. See, now that goes into um, knowing who you are as a person so that you can do these beautiful things and not be destructive. I don't know. That's kind of where I get out of that. A pale blue theater stage, a feast of beautiful tragedy, wonderful fantasy. Again. The play is yours to write, yours to live. So really, uh, hold on, ready to uh, ready the night by a play writer. So it's kind of like you're you're writing your own. I don't want to say your own destiny, uh, but you're your own fate. You do. You are. You as an individual can create your own fate based on your actions and what you choose. So you can write your own story based on a your imagination, your creativity. I mean, there's so much things that you can take out of this. Very beautiful lyrics, by the way. Uh, and then it repeats the chorus again, and then it ends with that same chorus. A a a moment alone with unbeknown reset the world. Imagine home a premium. Primal need to touch the stars, only way there to enter. So I really think that that's kind of where I see uh, Tomas was heading uh, when he was writing this. Um, I, I did some notes. I said, uh, um, it is one of the simplest songs on this album compared to uh, the lyrics of the other ones that I've read. It's really, I don't want to say it's a hard song, but it is the simplest it's I, a lot of it has to be creative. It's an imagination. Um, if I remember right, Tomas said that uh, in an, an interview about the before this whole before the album was released that uh, it was about a human imagination, uh, and it's about us as a human being being able to imagine the beauty that we possess inside, as well as the darkness that we possess inside too, and learning to create a path in the right direction. This is just my thought. And if you notice that uh, the lyrics refer to various fantasy works and, you know, probably some from some of, uh, of his own album, from some of the other albums too. Like, like I said before, like uh, Wishmaster. Just my two cents on that. But enough talking. Let's get into it. I'm sorry. When I get into the lyrics, I, my mind gets drifting away and, there's so much in this. Uh, I was I was looking at the lyrics at from Tribal and actually for the last uh, four songs, and I am really fascinated by the mind of Tomas and how much energy and resources he puts into doing his lyrics and what goes through there. And I know that a lot of times when we look at we as uh, people that listen to his wonderful music. I know sometimes we get it wrong, and um, I've 
trust me, I'm one of them. I've, there's times where I thought I heard something and I thought that was what it meant. And then I listened to an interview and I'm like, oh my God, I was way off base. Uh, <laughs> so I was like, oh my God. So a lot of it is your perception of what you see and what you think about an, an album. So it's there's not one specific um, point of view. I think there's a, a baseline, but there's still so much that you can take from a lyric. Anyway, my two cents. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Ooh, I like the piano.
So sad. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh, now listening to the song and listening and uh, watching the video and seeing all the different things, it's definitely about the imaginary imagination of the human condition. I have to say that that is one of the best lyric combination um, outside of the poet and the pendulum. I really the lyrics of that song really fit the condition that was happening with Tomas. This song here, you know, it it's out for. I don't know. It's there. I could take so much from this song. You could take a lot, and but how I see it is. Is definitely what I said before. It is just the imagination of the human condition. Plain and simple. I really, really loved the darkness of the song. Definitely had a more metal feel to it. Uh, not so much. It had some symphonic, but I loved it. It was like a wave in the song. You have this like high and you have this low and then and, and it builds up again and drops down to where you got impu, OMG. That was primo. I really, really love the riffs on that. Oh my God. Definitely a lot heavier than what I've seen in the last four or five songs that I've already reacted to. Definitely a lot different. Really love the sound that they produce. For a lot of you guys that are not into this particular album, they're not, you're not fans of it. This song is definitely feels like an <laughs> the old the older Nightwish, and it has a very uh, definitely more of a metal sound. Definitely got some symphonic, but it's more metal in this one. You could the, Kai on the drums was killing it, man. He's dude. Oh my god, the whole sound from Tomas on the keyboard. <laughs> uh, I didn't hear Troy. <laughs> I didn't hear. I didn't hear no pipes. Maybe I wasn't paying attention, so I don't know where he was at on this song. Uh, I know that um, Marco was in there with the bass, but I couldn't hear the bass. All I heard was the drums, the guitar, floor, and the choir. That's all I could hear in my head, and uh, and how eerie and dark some of the passages of the song were. Very, very, very impressed with the overall of this. I don't want to say it's my favorite, but it's definitely on the high side between Shoemaker and this one. Eh, it's really close. I do like noise, but eh, I don't know. Pen is like right there. I really, really love, uh, man, Impu. <laughs> Dude, I wish I could just hug him because <laughs> that was really, really impressive. I was really, I really like the sound that, that this song produced uh it was like a roller coaster of fun for me just throwing that out there sorry i didn't mean to get <laughs> wrap around and get creative like this but i don't edit my videos the little bit of editing that you get is from the beginning and the end of just doing the titles and stuff like that i you get what you get <laughs> so there it is what do you know oh my god I, after I'm done with you guys, after I post this, I'm going to re-listen to Pan. You guys know I have not listened to the whole album. I purposely been waiting to do the reaction videos because I, I refuse, as hard as it's been, I refuse to do to listen to the album because I know that once I listen to it all, it's going to suck because there's nothing for me to look forward to when it comes to Nightwish because there, there's nothing out there right now. Just no concerts. A lot of them been canceled. Just so sad. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to doing just one a week, maybe two a week. One a week for now, but I want to do two because there's a couple more songs I want to get to. Um, speaking of which, uh, looking at the album. Oh, yeah. So looking at the album for sure, I'll, we'll be looking at the next one. Um, ooh. I have so many good ones that I I hear that these are all good ones too. Oh my god. Okay, I gotta stop because I'm gonna end up looking and I'm gonna want to do another one. So let's not do that. We'll catch you guys next time. Sorry I'm babbling, but I that was this was so much fun. I'm so excited for what Nightwish has presented in this album. Totally, totally in love with this album. I am 
definitely in love with what I'm hearing. And like I said before, when you start from the very first song of the album and you work your way down, you there is a progression from song to song to song to song. It's almost like it's building from the human condition and you get to this point right now where we're in pan where it's the imagination of the human condition kind of where i see it where we're at right now we're in that that blank canvas that could be created into so many things interesting very interesting tomas you are a genius just saying anyway thanks guys this is your boy ali the rock i hope you guys have enjoyed this as much as i have I know I've enjoyed uh, listening to Nightwish. It's one of my favorite, favorite bands. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing what uh, the next uh, few of uh, uh, next few songs are going to be like. So looking forward to it. We'll catch you guys next time. And as always, stay metal in this wonderful metal nation we call Ollie the Rock. <laughs>